All right, so Native Instruments has done it again. They are giving us more sounds. More sounds. But this time, it's free. Let's go ahead and check it out. Bolo! All right, hold on. Before we get started with this video, we do have to mention something very important, and that is protecting your equipment. If you have a ton of equipment and it needs to be protected, the best place to go is to analog cases. The link is in the description. You need to go on their website and find you some protective cases for your gear. Doesn't matter if it's like an MPC, a machine, a keyboard, a MIDI controller, an audio interface, hard drives, USB drives, whatever, they have a case for just about everything that you need. I'm telling you guys right now, one of the worst things is to have some equipment and it breaks because you did not protect it. So make sure you guys go to analog cases right now now, click that link in the description and get you some cases from analog cases. I'm telling you, they're going to protect your. So go ahead and click that link in the description right now. Also, if you guys need some equipment, feel free to click my link in the description, the one down here in the bottom, to zounds.com so you guys can go ahead and get a whole bunch of items on the site without no credit or background check. That means you can go ahead and order it. They'll ship it to you and you can just pay it off over time. All they're gonna need is just a little bit of information and a credit or debit card so they can just take the payments out monthly. And that's pretty much it. Now it's not all the items on the site, but it is a good portion of the items on the site that you can get without no credit or background check. And you can go ahead and order that stuff today and it'll usually get to you within like two or three days at the most. Okay, so go ahead and click that link in the description right now and get you some equipment from zounds.com. But click that link at the bottom right now. All right, so Native Instruments has just released more sounds for the contact library. Seems like they make sounds every damn week. I guess that's a good thing. But it's called Irish Harp and it is absolutely free all the way until July 3rd. So it is June of 2023. If you are watching this after July 3rd of 2023, it is not free anymore. But if you are watching this right now, it is free till July 3rd, 2023. This is actually a pretty cool library. Sounds very good. Has some unique features in it. And uh, I think you guys might enjoy this. So if you want to go ahead and get it, you can just go ahead and click that link in the description and get it along with the other links that I said to click on as well. So let's go ahead and head over to Studio One and I'm going to make a very quick beat with it and just kind of show you guys how this thing works. So let's get to it. All right, so we're in Studio One right now. I actually made a video with me, you know, making the beat for you guys, but I captured the audio but forgot to capture the video, trying to be in a rush. I messed that up, so you're just gonna be able to see the finished product in a sense, but I'll do like a beat breakdown. But we can still kind of go back so I can show you some key features and so you guys can see if it's something that you wanna get, but it's free anyway, so you might as well just go ahead and get it. So first thing that you see inside this plugin is that right here on the little keyboard right here, there's a whole bunch of different colors and stuff. You got red, blue, violet, I guess purple, all, all type of different colors on here, but they actually do different controls for what you're trying to do on here. So like these red controls right here, these actually give you uh, more control when you're playing it because the blue notes right here are just simply the notes. So while you're playing these blue notes, if you hold down a red note, so if I'm playing these, and I say, for instance, I hold down this right here where I got my mouse right here. It gives me an automatic strumming effect. If I hold this down right here, it gives you kind of like that real stabby type of effect. If I hold this down, it gives you like like a old school feel like gives you like a like it takes a little bit off the top end and takes a little off the bottom end on there what about this one that's another like strummy type of effect that it does on there which is actually very cool because it makes this harp sound natural and it already sounds good already now this one right here this one is a dampening note so while you're playing these and you hit this note right here this little one right here if i hit that while i'm playing it and here it dampens it. So it's actually very cool. So if you're playing stuff, it's 
kind of like a guitar when you're kind of using that dampening on a guitar. So it's actually very cool. Now, these little, I guess, violet colors on your uh, keys, these are automatic uh, melody chords and stuff that are already built in here. So if you play it, and it has different ones. So if you guys are not really players like that, you could use these and, you know, that way you can come up with some melodies and, you know, add in your beats and stuff like that. So that's actually very cool. Now, one thing that I really like about this particular plugin is that they have a key mode up here called white keys, as you guys can see, it's already set on. And if you're in the white keys mode, you can actually set a root and you can set a scale for you to play in and you can just play the white keys and everything that starts on that C note basically will play in whatever scale that you play it in. So right now we're in C minor. So if I play it, it's done. Now say for instance, I want to change it to C Dorian. Watch this. Changes a little bit towards that, that top half. C major. Now, say for instance, we want to play it in a E flat major. Playing the same note. So now you can play all your scales and just play it on the white keys. Now, the good thing about being in this white keys mode is right here, you got these little violet or pink notes up here. If you play those black keys, it's going to give you a strumming effect. And you're still going to be in key. So you can put this in E flat minor and watch this and you can play it with the white you know the white keys and in that way it just gives you more control over this instrument and then they have different modes they have extended where as you can see a lot of the uh the little violet keys or pink keys are right here too which is cool, you know, you just kind of got to learn how to play around with it. You have a guide where, you know, the guide to kind of tell you a few things and then you have scale mode. So if you're in a particular scale, if you play the wrong note, it's not even going to, you know, make the, the notes not even going to turn on. So if you play it, So that's a good way to learn how to play scales too. So if you don't know how to play scales, you can put in a certain scale and learn how to play it. So that's, that's uh what's that E flat minor. And then you can go right here to uh, C minor. But if I play the wrong note, it's not even gonna make a sound. So that's pretty much it. And then it, you know, it has a few little uh, things in here, like they have sound presets, modern, ambient. You know, it has that, it has relaxed. Uh, they have another one here, it's like a vintage. And they have a mono, which is, yeah. So I like to use the modern, you know. And it just gives it a different feel. And they have like some different stuff on here. Like they got the Irish harp, they got the white keys up here, April rain. And then they got a few presets on here, but a lot of times you can just leave it right here on the white keys and you can just go to work from there. And that's pretty much about it. And that's why I see that, you know, they probably might have this for free because it's not really much, but it has a lot of stuff packed into it. And then it's one of these type of, uh, plugins that you can use to where you know that I can just go right here and get the sound that I want. So, all right, so let's go ahead and do this beat breakdown. I'm gonna show you guys uh, how I did this beat. It's very simple. I use three sounds from the uh, from the uh, Irish Heart uh, VST, and then I use my Bolo X Factor drum kit. If you do not have my drum kit, I'm telling you guys right now, you need to go ahead and get it. This thing slaps, okay? This thing sounds really good. If you do have it, go ahead and get the rest of my drum kits. If you don't have it, Definitely get this one and get all of my drum kits. They all sound really good, but this is just one of my personal favorites. So the first sound that I used was this right here, and I just played it out like this. And that's pretty much it. It just repeats like that. Then I want to put like a core sound in here. So for the hook, I just added in this other little part.
and sounds decent. I don't think it's really clashing, nothing like that. So I left that in there. And then I wanted a part for my verse. So I actually added a higher part in there and I uh, half timed it. And this is what I came up with. And it's playing along with the, the main part. And I added a delay effect. I used a Valhalla delay and that gives it that little, you know, that quick delay effect that's on there. It just kind of gives a little bit of a character. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Everything else is all drums for my X Factor kit. So make sure you guys go ahead and get it. You can just go ahead and click that link in the description and go ahead and get that X Factor kit. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. I'm telling you. All right, so let's go ahead and play a little bit of this beat out. And then I'm going to go ahead and have the whole beat posted on my other channel, which is the Bolo MP3 channel. You guys can go ahead and find that in the video description as well. And then that way you can hear the whole beat in its entirety. But I'm just going to play you a little bit of it now so you guys can hear how the beat came out. All right, so there it is, the Irish Harp. It is actually pretty dope, and it is free all the way until July 3rd, 2023. So do not come to me after July 3rd, 2023, talking about Bolo, it's not free, okay? July 3rd, 2023, that's when it ends. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out.